so let's start the video and today we are going to learn how to kill a process instance in APN so what we need to do is we need to create a process model and we are using the send and receive functionality let's create the process model which will create the user task and send message or receive message let's give the permissions the permissions are already there just need to save it now the process model is here and we need to add the user input task and let's attach this we also need an interface or we can just directly give the assignment to undermine it so the assignment is done but there is no form let's not talk about the form we can attach any form later and what we need to do is PPID is also used in this process so we need to create a process variable and we need to make it number integer as this is PPID And we need to do one more thing. We need to use the receive message because in this process model, when we receive the PPID, and then we need to cancel this user task. So we also need an end note. We need to attach it to receive message. So this is our receive message and end node. No configuration is needed. And this is the end node. And we also need to create other process model which will kill this task. We need to do the configuration here. What we need to do is we need to send the message. And let's configure this. Okay, so we need to create a process variable named PPID. We can give any name because it is the PPID. That's why we are giving this. And this is also of number in teacher. So we need to configure this in the data and we are using this PPID. So we are sending the message and this message needs to be received by this process model. Okay, so what we are going to do is Let's do one more thing. We also need a script task here. And this is script task is used to store the PPID in the variable. We need to create a custom output. And here we can use the PPID. This is the instance and this is the ID. You can hit the save button and store in the target variable which is PPID and click OK. 
So what is happening right now is the start node will send this to PPID and after PPID is stored, the user input task get generated. So these this is the this is the one flow and this is the second flow. So let's save and publish this and also save and publish this one. Let's debug it. So if you see, this is the start node and we are at this user input task. If we go to the task and refresh this, now currently we are having this user input task as a task. So what we need to do is basically, we have this receive message. So we need to kill this task. And what we can do from here, we can take the variables value like the value is this PPID 26843509. We can edit this. Let's copy this. And we can put the value in this. So for debugging, debugging it, we are doing this, and we have you, we have saved it, and let's start the debugging of this send message. So the send message is done. Let's see the task is killed or not. Let's refresh this task for. Let's go to the monitoring tab for proper checkup. So this is our user input task and it is incomplete, active task. This is not killed. Ended previously because what we have not done is we have not configured this end task. We need to terminate this process. And now I have configured this end event. Let's save and publish it again. So we have configured this end event and we have also renamed this user task. So what we can do is, let's debug it again. I have already debugged it, so this is the task. And if we go to tempo, we can see that task. This is the new task, which is generated one minute ago, right? So what we can do now is, first copy the PPID 78. Let's go to the kill task process model and we can copy the PPID here, paste the PPID, 78. Okay, the PPID is pasted and let's save it and let's debug it. We have to kill that task. The task PPID is 78, so it is completed. If we can go to task and refresh it, we can see the task is gone. So this is how we can kill the process instance in APN and we can also go to monitoring tab to further monitor it. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe the channel.